everyone, it's Isabel Emberscroll and welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. So today there are actually a lot of small mini updates in what on this Wednesday. Um one of them I'm still getting used to because it is super weird having this changed because it's literally smack right in front of my face every single minute and I'm just not used to it yet but the main thing that is here is that Gooey Gadea Gooey whatever his name is is back with yet another Horses of Jorvik race and this time it is at, I believe, Redwood Point. I think that's the name of it. I haven't been, I haven't been to Redwood Point in a while. But along with that, there are about maybe five, four or five small little updates around Jorvik that. I had no idea until I logged in. I literally saw like Horses of Jorvik returned. And then I log in and I'm doing my daily stuff and I look and I'm like, hold on, something's different about this setup here. And I just start looking around and then I finally see it and I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow, it is so different and it's so weird getting used to that because it's been the same thing for years. They finally change it and it's just like, wow, this is weird. But without anything else, let's get straight into this video. Oh my gosh, this is like so super confusing because this is what they actually changed. This, they changed this. Hold on, that's confusing. Wait. Uh, you're your- Okay, I was a little confused. I was like, how much do I have? But they changed the Jorvik shilling and star coin look. So it used to be like a star and something. Now they're both a circle and the star coin has a star and the Jorvik shillings has a J. This is going to be so confusing when you're trying to take the trailer because it's literally smack right in your face everywhere. Like, look at this. Mon the money. And this will be so confusing if you're not paying attention. And we need to go to Redwood Point to go to the Horses of Jorvik. Oh my gosh, I'll have to pay attention to the text. Pay with your Vic shillings. I, I love the new currency texture. New currency look or something? I, I mean, it's okay. Um, It's just super weird because like now, I'm not sure if it ever showed this before, but now it shows the currency and it's just completely weird and it's gonna have to take like a year to be getting used to that uh that is so weird the currency i was so used to the currency being like jorvik shillings gold little shillings but now it's like the same they're silver now they're all silver this has a hint of purple it's just all silver now for the jorvik shillings which is super weird Hello there, glad to see you out here. I almost got lost on my way myself. My name is Gooey Gadea, and I'm one of the founders of the HOJ Focus Races. HOJ is short for Horses of Jorvik. If you didn't know, it's a small organization started a while back in honor of our beautiful horses. Um, Jorv on Jorvik, my pals and I host these focus races for specific horse breeds or breeds with similar attributes. We think it's a perfect way for people to meet and bond over their love for their horses. This time we have set up a cross-country race with this beautiful forest. To try it out, you must join with a Shire, a Jorvik wild horse, or a North Swedish horse. If you want to enter the competition, just come and talk to me or grab a friend and start a race by signing up on the notice board here beside me. Okay, um, well, I should have read the update before that because now I have to go to the stable and 
get my either Shire, North Swedish Horse, or Jorvik Wild Horse, I think. Uh, I should have done this before. This is like wasting so much Jorvik shillings. Uh, and now I need to find my Shire. Oh my gosh, where are they? Just try to find... We could just use one of these. We can just use someone. Someone. And not to be sure, but I think they brought out a new Appaloosa, I think. It's at Fort Pinta, I believe. Not sure. I'm just going from what... Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! So, yes, it is an Appaloosa, and I believe it's in a story or book that's coming out, so this is a galaxy. Oh my gosh, that is so weird down there. Ah! So, technically, it's not like a magic color changing horse kind of thing, but it is called a galaxy! So, Galaxy is a spotted blanket Appaloosa with a mysterious past. It's pretty much all of it is. So, it's an Appaloosa, but it is called a Galaxy. And there's only one of these, and they're 900. So, this is the new Galaxy. It's so cute. Wait, 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 wait. There's like a heart there, and then a heart there. And then another heart there. So this horse has like hearts all over its body. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I really need to take care of my horse. Uh, I haven't I haven't ridden this horse in a while. We need to, we need to get back. Let's just head back to Redwood Point, wasting so much Yorvik shillings trying to get to one place, just one simple place, which is Redwood Point, so we can try the race. <sighs> this... <laughs> we are finally back, and now we can try to do the race. Ugh. Okay. Let's enter into this cross-country Horses of Jorvik race. Mooses? Moose? Mooses ever that size? Um, those were big. I contend. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Oh, oh, that was so weird. Oh, seeing those silver Jorvik shillings. They added a small, little, teeny, tiny, little, mini main quest. And we have to go all the way back down the steps, go further deeper into Fort Maria's library just to see what they have to talk about. <gasps> oh my god. What did I just do? I need to get all the way over to Miss Saltsworth. How did I fall through that? Oh my god. And there's no one to call- Oh my gosh, I am literally- No. Oh. My gosh, this is a terrible place to be. Trouble, I- ugh. I had to log off and then back on. Luckily, it was able to get me back on my horse. Oh, let me rub the dust from my eyes and get a good look at you, my dearies. Is everyone healthy and safe? 
We sure are, Miss Holdsworth. Do you have any news? Yes, it's about the primeval trees, also called life wardens. I deciphered some garbled old text scrawled in spidery handwriting. The author of this paper observed that most primeval trees had fallen into slumber and believed that they should be awakened in order to hasten the rebirth of Aideen. Apparently, other primeval trees did not fare so well. I'm paraphrasing here. Some tree roots have become unwittingly entangled with Garnock's tendrils and have tr turned truly mal malevolent. Corrupted primeval trees can oft be purified by the keepers of Aideen, but should those of efforts fail, the trees would be felled. Furthermore, according to this unknown writer of old primeval trees, have a tendency to fly into a rage if they feel that they have been tricked by humans' false minds, and the fury of the primeval tree certainly does not go unnoticed. Wait... How many primeval trees are there, and who would try to trick a tree? I've long suspected that there are a good number of primeval trees we are unaware of. Jorvik flourished under their protection, long before they were exploited as a research for building materials. I suppose that's one way to trick a tree. Also, according to these old writings, some witches have entered a covenant with the primeval tree in order to strengthen their own magical powers. Whether or not this was beneficial to the trees is unknown, as it seems that both good and evil witches have drawn magical energy from the trees with, a, with varying results. What do you think of this, Isabel? I've heard that word before. It means they should be chopped down. That's terrible, chopping down a primeval tree. Well, we have a task for the future, locating all the primeval trees and healing any that have been blighted by evil by all the green grass on Jorvik. I hope and never to be felled again. Well, I just hope never to see a life warden that cannot be saved. I'll get back to my research. Beatrix, please find a good book for our tea time reading. You kids run off and have some fun. I'll get a message to you when I've got some new information. Goodbye, dearies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, follow me on Instagram at Isabel Scroll, And I will see you in my next video. Bye!